The So What Swaddler is functional, fast to sew, and costs next to nothing to make. A swaddler made from an old t-shirt may not be the cutest thing your baby owns, but so what? Now you can both get some sleep. This tutorial was sponsored by allfreesewing.com. You'll need an adult size t-shirt that is at least a size large. You'll be cutting a rounded t-shape with the arms forming the top of the t. Begin by laying the t-shirt face down. Then cut off the collar and shoulder portion of the t-shirt so that the top edge is straight. The top edge should measure 24 inches across for the small and 27 inches for the large. Use a small plate as a template to cut rounded flaps from the arm portion of the t-shirt. You will want the flap on the left side to be about two and a half inches longer than the one on the right side so that you can wrap it around baby and tuck it beneath his arm. So your T-shape will be slightly lopsided with a longer flap on the left. Now we'll mark some measurements. The top to bottom length should be 20 inches for small and 23 for large. The center portion of the swaddler should be 13 inches for small and 16 for large. The bottom portion should be 6 inches for small and 9 inches for large. Mark these points, then cut the shirt. It will look like a rounded T with the bottom being narrow for baby's feet. Separate the layers. Cut the back side of the t-shirt right below the flaps, making an upward arc. This will be the portion that covers baby's tummy. Now flip the two pieces over so that right sides are together. Pin together. Sew the pocket to the main piece with a zigzag stitch. Turn right side out. Next, finish the raw edges with a zigzag stitch. The fabric won't fray, but it will curl in the wash, so it's best to finish it. Fold the edges inward a quarter inch and sew with a zigzag stitch. You can pin it first if you want, but I'm keeping this project fuss free. Now we're going to make the Velcro tabs that will secure the swaddler. Cut two rectangles that are three by seven inches. Fold in half so that they are three by three and a half inches. Pin a two and a half inch piece of hook Velcro a quarter inch away from the fold. Unfold the fabric and sew the Velcro with a zigzag stitch. Then fold the fabric so right sides are together. Velcro will be inside. Sew around the three sides with a zigzag stitch, leaving the bottom open for turning. Do this with both tab pieces. Then turn the tabs right side out. You'll need some felt for the following steps. Be sure you've pre-washed the felt as it can shrink. Cut a half circle of felt to fit the right flap piece. Lay the tabs down on the inside of the flap and place the felt on top of it. Pin together. Sew around the edge of the felt with a zigzag stitch. Next we'll sew the coordinating piece of felt that the Velcro tabs will adhere to. Fold the swaddler so the left arm panel is lying on top of the right one. Then pin a large circle of felt in the curve of the underarm area and sew in place with a zigzag stitch. Be careful that you are only sewing through one layer of t-shirt fabric. You don't want to sew the tummy panel shut. For extra security, we're going to add another Velcro portion to the tummy panel. Sew a half circle of felt to the center of the arc. Be sure that you're only sewing through one layer of the t-shirt. Add a 3 inch piece of hook Velcro on the inside of the left flap close to the joint of the T. 
To swaddle the baby, tuck feet into the pocket panel. Lay baby's arms flat at his sides. Then, wrap the left flap over his tummy and tuck beneath his arm. Wrap the right flap over the top and attach the tabs to the felt. Stop swaddling baby once he can wiggle out of the swaddler or when he has learned to roll over. Baby should sleep on his back and should not be dressed too warmly. As always, please use common sense when using any handmade baby item. This tutorial was sponsored by AllFreeSewing.com. For hundreds more free tutorials, please visit my website, MadeByMarzipan.com.